Our first date was March 17th of 1985. And then we got married in September. So it was, it was a fast romance, but it's lasted 33 years. I was so worried because he's a Southern boy that he would not um, fit in here. But I had a pass, because I married a native. He relied on his wife, who also is a wonderful person, and together they just managed to make all the difference in the world. There's nobody in New Hampshire, anyone would be luckier to meet than Rick. You guys were awesome, Jemmy. Props goddess is what you became. Rick, puppet master, is what you became. But you gave so much more in terms of friendship and, like I said, support, artistic support for the um, first decade of the Children's Theatre Project. The Community Players for Concord is where we really got seriously involved in, in theater. He was willing to go, go all over with me, and we started to see more things. and. Um, right. I was already aware that there was great theater all over New Hampshire because as the editor of the magazine, we covered a lot of it, and we would and we write about this, the singularities that exist in the state. There's a lot of great um, stories to be told, and and the reason that we that we were involved that the theater awards began at all, of course. So we put our heads together and said, great potential. You know, we got resources right here. We have the magazine. Um, we've got Maddie, who's like the sort of you know m you know magician of of talent and we can make this happen. Rick was instrumental in the uh, kickoff, the conceptualization, the beginning of the New Hampshire Theatre Awards. Uh, Jemmy obviously was very tied into that as, um, you know, as a partner, as well as someone, again, to bounce ideas off of, to bring interesting people together, um, to kind of formulate and build something bigger in the wider New Hampshire community. Proud of you and Jemmy. Both of you deserve it. You've always been a huge, huge part of the New Hampshire Theatre Awards. He constantly reaches out um, to connect people and make people feel valued and appreciated for their work in the arts. I can't begin to state how important Rick and Jemmy are to this, uh, to the art scene in New Hampshire and in the theater. And again, they're not just enthusiastic. They roll up their sleeves and they actually go out there and work. The whole thing, theater, putting yourself out there, you know, even if you're working the stage, backstage, if you're really serious about it, you're in. If there's any legacy of all of this, that's what we hope it is, is that the New Hampshire theater community knows that it is a big us. First date being? With, with, uh, it was uh, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, that's what I said, March 17th. I know, but nobody knew that was St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> but now they do.